welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to display native ads from google admob inside your flutter application without using any third party library so first to show you how a native ad looks like so this is my, the output on android and here you can see that i have one ad uh, label at the top left corner uh, which is mandatory and also you might be seeing this pop-up called ad mob native ad validator this is only seen in test mode or debug mode or development mode uh, whatever you want to call it this helps us to identify whether there are any issues with the way we have implemented uh, native ads for your os so for android there are no issues so i'll just dismiss it for now so here it is like <coughs> the image which you see at the top the test id the image ratings bar uh, the body as well as the uh, image which you see at the uh, middle uh, instead of the image at the middle there can be a video as well but uh, the test id which i'm using does not have a video so it is only displaying an image there is an install button as well and uh, there is two other buttons uh, two other labels where it is available and what what price it is so it is free available on google play so this is the output for android and for ios uh, the output is very similar but here you might be seeing that there is one ad validator issue like the, i have uh, <coughs> uh, like i don't think this is this issue is from my side it feels more like a issue with the google ad mob library itself uh, i have tried asking this question on stack overflow as well and i have reached a bounty but unfortunately i haven't got any answers uh, to, just to let you know what the what it is telling me is that so the issue is that uh, if i click on see issues uh, it is telling me that i have not added a add uh, text at the top left corner but i did add it uh, so if you see this uh, if you click on learn more over here uh, it will redirect you to a uh, web page so it tells you that okay there should be something called ads at the top left corner but i have already added it uh, still it is uh, uh, not working for me i'm not sure why same issue i faced on native ios as well as on react native uh, but yeah anyways if you do let if you still if you uh, like if you know what uh, mistake i'm making do let me know uh, don't tell that uh, just disable this validator like disabling this validator on uh, development in during development is not a good idea so yeah that's why i have kept it so yeah anyways let's get started so <coughs> firstly uh, here is my flutter project and here inside main dot dot what i have done i have refactored my home page widget i have taken the width and height of our screen and then i am using a safe area inside that i am using the size box uh, to uh, give our uh, native view some width and height and here i have created a custom widget called my native ad view now if you go to here you can see i have created a separate class for this and if you see i am using a stateless widget uh, so this is boilerplate code which you have to write for creating any kind of a native view only thing important is this identifier over here so for android i am using an android view for ios i am using a ui kit view next uh, what we have to do is we will have to open the android folder inside android studio and here make sure you go to this uh, build.gradle so this build.gradle and use at least kotlin 1.8.20 so i think this sorry this first one build.gradle use 1.8.20 at least because i think flutter is still stuck on 1.7 version of kotlin next uh, i will just show you the boilerplate code which you have to write so first go to main activity here you will have to override this configure flutter engine we will come back to this part later on and you have to write this boilerplate code and use the same identifier which you have used it on the uh, dart side next i have created a factory class again i have copy pasted this code from the documentation only the file name has been changed and here we are instantiating a class called my native ad view and here you can see i have created uh, my native uh, here i have created my native ad view and uh, here again i have copy pasted everything from the docs uh so i am extending the platform view as well as i'm getting the context activity id and creation params from the native ad view factory and uh yeah rest i will explain you in a bit so this is the boilerplate code for it uh next uh, what you have to do next what i have done is that i will directly go to the documentation uh so here i am uh, first uh, adding this dependency of implementation google ad mobs and if you go to your build.gradle over here first add this uh, implementation of google ad mob dependency 
and just click on sync now uh, once you do that you will have to copy this metadata tag and i have copied this i have cop instead of this xxyyy you can copy this test id from now, test id for now uh, and uh, later on in the video i will show you how to create production id for this so inside android manifest.xml i have just uh, uh, created this metadata tag and i have i added this test id over here uh, then i have also created two other metadata tags which i have found from the optimization guide so if you go over here uh, given that the ads must only add must be loaded only from the main thread uh, that's why we have to add this metadata tag because if you are trying to load multiple ads uh, especially on low android device uh, they feel extremely janky and may cause the application not responding error so i have added uh, this two as well uh, okay next i'll go back to the previous documentation and over here you can see inside main activity we have to initialize this so that's what i have done inside main activity i have overridden this on create method and written mobile ads dot initialize uh, next we have to select the implement native ads format and here you can see i am using this ad loader and again this is a test id uh, entire thing and i have copy pasted this so if you go to the my native ad view here you can see at the top i have created i am extra i am using frame layout uh, then i have created variable for ad loader and then i have created layout params for our frame layout and assigned to it then this i have copy pasted it ignore this for now uh, so i have copy pasted everything from the documentation over up till here okay next it tells you there are two ways of loading ads just load a single ad or load multiple ads i am using load a single ad because loading multiple ads uh, requires you to implement your own refresh logic which i am not sure about so i am just using this over here next uh, so here you have to add whether whether the ad has been loaded or not so if you check over here uh, if you want you can add some kind of a progress bar but here you can see i am uh, loading our ad unified view uh, our uh, native ad view so to load it <coughs> i have created a separate xml file for this uh, and you can get this xml file if you are curious you can go to this uh wait i'll show you go to display and add small and medium size ads and here you can go to this scotland docs okay and here you can find that xml file so here all i'm doing is that i'm populating that xml file and i'm calling this two method i have created this method and i'm removing if anything is present inside frame layout and adding that add view to our frame layout also if the activity is destroyed we need to release our native ad so if you go to the docs here you can see it is specifying that <coughs> next we also have to add hardware acceleration so if you go to android manifest.xml i have added hardware acceleration uh, over here as well as over here <coughs> okay next okay now displaying an ad so small and medium size ad so uh, here you can see they have done the same thing so i will show you my xml layout so inside res create a folder called layout inside that create add unified.xml again i have copy pasted it from the from their source code but uh, important thing to notice is this should be the main parent view should be native ad view inside that i have taken a linear layout then i have taken text view for the top left corner displaying it as add uh, then one for then instead of linear layout you can also use constant layout or relative layout uh, then one f image view for app icon one for headline text view one for advertiser one for our rating bar one for uh, displaying the body one text view for displaying body this media view for displaying a video or an image at the middle uh, then one for displaying the price one for displaying the store and one for a button for call to action so i'll just slowly scroll through this if you want to copy it you can copy it okay uh, next coming back to this 
so what does the document says so here we are they are doing the same thing and here they are pop, uh, displaying the native ad view so yeah same thing over here so what they are doing over here is that they are calling this populate native ad view and if you see i am sending the native ad as well as the native ad view and with the help of native ad view you have to find each and every item which is present over here with find view by id so you have to use it like this only okay so i have found all the items which are present in our layout file then we have to use this native ad view dot media view equal to add uh, media similarly for headline view body view call to action all that stuff <coughs> next i am assigning text to add headline similarly for media content similarly for body if body is no equal to null then hide the add body text view otherwise display it over here similarly for call to action button similarly for icon price <coughs> store star rating advertiser as well and uh, native ad view dot set native ad okay and here uh, i'm uh, this is very important like you should do this then we are you getting the media content and we are checking if it is not equal to null and if media content has video then we are implementing this callback there are other callbacks as well like on video started i guess but this is for he here i'm just implementing on video end but unfortunately the test ad does not have video so this will not get implemented so i'm just displaying a toast message <coughs> okay uh, i think that should be it for android yeah now for ios if you go like first i'll tell you the boilerplate code which you have to write so what you will have to do is first go to app delegate <coughs> and here uh, firstly you will have to register this uh, and this should be your identifier define it on the uh, dart side and next you have to create a factory class again this i have copy pasted it from docs only thing changes this name over here and this name and for this i have created another class my ad view <coughs> um, and i will come back to this later on uh, okay next uh, so once we are done with this so for a change i am using swift package manager to install this admob dependency but if you want to use coco pods you can add it something like this and then cd to your ios directory on terminal and then run pod install but swift package manager is easy for me because i don't have any other dependency in my perspect.yml so to install it via uh, swift package manager just click on file at the top click on add package dependency and here you have to paste that particular url uh, which is over here <coughs> then just it will search github i have already added it just click on add package and it, uh, it will uh, add it to your project next uh, we have to add this dash objc to our project so go to runner go to runner over here go to build settings search for other linker flags and here you will have to add dash objc okay next update your info.plist so uh, you have to add this application identifier again this is a test id and here is the network item and inside network item i am only adding this but there are other network items as well so the first one belongs to google but if you want to know what this belongs to what this belongs to you can just click on select third party buyers so if you see my info.plist i have just added this application identifier as well as this sk add network items over here only one i have added uh so this is done next inside app delegate we have to import google mobile ads as well as we have to write this bit of code so if you go to app delegate i have imported this as well as i have written it over here uh, next implement native ads <coughs> so first we have to use this uh, now i will just show it from my perspective i think the documentation is not really good so what i have done is inside my ad view I have imported Google Mobile Ads. Then I have extended Flutter Platform View as well as this delegates, these three delegates from this Google Mobile Ads. Then we have to create our main parent view. Then we also create have to create a variable for our loader, ad loader. Then we have to create our ad view, just like we had created in Android. We have to same similar kind of similar. We have to create it for iOS. So this would be the main parent view for all these labels all labels as well as image views which you see at the bottom so this is for top left corner this is for displaying the icon this is for displaying the ads headline advertising 
ratings image view body label if you want you can pause the video and copy paste it because in the documentation uh, if you see the source code uh, like they are using a uh, zips or xib however you call it and it is completely out of date it doesn't really work <clears throat> and here i have taken a gad media view as well and here i have taken a ui button a ui label then a price label as well and here i am inside the init method i am instantiating our view and calling create native view here i am returning our main view if you see our create native view i'm first setting up constraints then i'm uh, i'm not really using this but i have just showing it to you if you want to use multiple ads but i am not passing it inside the options i'm just loading one ad so we need the access to our controller this is again a test ad replace it with production ad creating an ad loader assigning the delegate and calling the load method and inside setup constraints you can see i'm adding our main ad view to our view but later on all these things are added to our ad view then i'm assigning some ns layout constraints so i'll just slowly scroll through this if you want you can copy it then i am overriding this ad loader method where i am setting the delegate and then i am assigning icon image view headline text uh, gad media view checking whether it has a video or not if not just print it to the console similarly for body advertiser install button story label and if you see inside my assets i have also taken some uh, ratings image view so if you want you can add something like this and I've also taken this yellow background for our ad label, which is uh, seen at the top left corner. So this is the hex for it. If you want, you can copy it. Again, going back to our ad view. Here is the function to display, uh, depending on how many stars there are, I'm displaying the particular image view. Um, and here again, we are just overriding a bunch of methods from the delegates we have written at the top. And this is an extension class to get our top view controller okay now let's just see i have covered this covered this covered this already told you this all this stuff so yeah i think that's it uh, for ios as well thank you for watching in the next uh, like sorry now i will show you how to create a production ad units for android and ios production ad units so all you have to do is just go to your apps if you don't have an app just click on add app android i don't have my app published on play store i'll just click on continue i'll give it some name maybe second app okay i will add app uh, then i'll click on done then i'll just click on add add unit select native ad advanced give some name i don't know first native i guess give name which makes sense to you and just click on create add unit and here you will get your ad units now uh, if you want to uh, later on link your native ad uh, like native android app uh, to the play store so once you deploy it to play store you can i think go to app settings as well and here you can uh, add those app store details if you want to so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye create uh, the production ad units for ios just go to apps just click add app and here you can add your app so ios i have not deployed it to play store i click on no click continue give your name ios native ad something like that click add app and here you can click on done and then you can just click on uh, click add unit and here we are displaying native ad so yeah native advanced and here you can give any name so i'll just give some random name click on add unit so here you can just copy paste this inside your source code as well and for linking your app once you have deployed it to app store you can just go to app settings and here you can click on the add button and add your app via the url so yeah that's it thank you for